Let us all remember that we are in the holy presence of God. All together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit you may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you use will in return be measured to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. To every Lordation and to all our brothers and sisters that hold steadfast to faith, what does it mean for us to say that Christ is our King? Is it by our continuous reception, worthy reception of the sacrament of Eucharist? Is it by our good work? What is a true Christian. As the Apostle wrote to the Romans, all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus. What is our Christian faith when we deny our sinful nature? What benefit does good work do when we deny the need for redemption? Truly, Whoever does not recognize one's own fault before God shall be humble. We have to admit, we cannot blame our inclination to sin from Adam and Eve. We cannot blame their disobedience for our sinfulness. Though original sin tempts us to do horrible deeds, our free will is still present. St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that Christ seeks charity through friendship and through his sacrifice. However, Christ also calls us on a personal communication with Him, being true to Him with our own sinfulness. Thus I ask you, when was the last time you acknowledged your sinfulness and reflected on it with perfect contrition? Have you confessed to God and cried for some certain grave sins? Have you truly repented for them? Have you ever taken the Eucharist while being in mortal sin? With the acknowledge of personal sin, we have to realize that we cannot have that double standard. We cannot judge others of a sin if we have done it ourselves. We cannot judge one's sinfulness if we are sinful. You cannot judge dictatorship and tyranny while having personal bias. You cannot judge someone as a cheater or a stealer if you even fail to cite your sources or even cheat in a quiz or exam. You cannot judge someone as a hater or a threat to society if you have hurt someone physically or mentally or have engaged in a form of gossip. On the final day, when God calls us for the last judgment, He will judge us from what we have said. If we call the person a tyrant, we will be judged a tyrant against our neighbor. If we judge someone as a threat, we will be judged as a threat for relationships and all other things of life. For the measure with which we use will in return be measured to us. We ought to be merciful that God's mercy be granted to us. We ought to love God's grace come with us in His presence. Instead of focusing on others, we ought to focus on ourselves, loving God above all things, and desiring a friendship with our neighbor as Christ befriended us and became a brother to us. As a summary, Christianity is our acceptance of human weakness that only God can aid us. Even the Blessed Virgin Mary said, 
my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. To crown Christ as our King is to accept our weakness and our need for a Savior. Let us pray the morning of O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, words, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them with all the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sin, and the reunion of all Christians. I offer them with all the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, priests, sisters, seminarians, and catechists, and in particular for peace and unity in our family, country, and throughout the world, and for harmony and fraternal concern in Lourdes school community. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. St. Francis of Assisi, help us to become like Christ. St. P. of Petrochina, teach us to love the crucified Christ. Blessed Jose Maria of Manila, Strengthen us to become Christ's witnesses. All together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lagay natin ang ating panang kamay sa kalimang bahala ng ating dibdib at buong pagmamalaki natin awitin at pangbansang awit ng Pilipinas. I am a Filipino. I love my country. I am committed to be proactive and responsive to all national and global needs. sabay-sabay pikasin ng pungusay at katapatan ang panatang makapal. Panatang makapal. Iniibig ko ang pikas. Ang ilupang sinila. Tahanan ng aking lahat. Kinupukong ako at inutulungan na maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang pay ng aking magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. Ito pa rin ko ang mga tungkol din ng isang mamayang makapal. Nagilingkod, nag-aaral, at nag-aaral sa mga 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 Let us recite the vision statement. A Christian community of service preserving the value of quality Catholic education as manifested in the virtues of fully integrated Christian persons. Let us all raise our right hands and recite the Ecology Pledge of Commitment. As a steward of God's creation, I hereby pledge to support the ecology program of Lord's School of Mandaluyong, to commit myself to reuse products as much as I can, recycle used materials, and return biodegradable waste to the earth. In thoughts, words, and deeds, let us all recite the Lordian Creed. I am a Christian. Christ is my life. The Holy Spirit is my life. I love God with my whole mind, with my whole heart, 
and with my whole strength, and I love my neighbor as myself. I am a child of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary is the model of my faith, and my love for her is seen in my life of simplicity, humility, and obedience. I am a Franciscan in spirit. The Holy Eucharist and the Word of God help me live the Franciscan values of joy, peace, service, and brotherhood with all of God's creation. I am a man of truth. I am honest to myself and to others, and I accept and share my God-given talents, and I acknowledge my own limitations and weaknesses. I am a free human person. I make free choices and responsible decisions according to what God wants me to do. I am a community builder, a steward at the service of others and a sign of salvation to all. I am a peacemaker. I am committed to promote unity and fraternity, justice and mercy, understanding and goodwill among men and the whole of creation. I am a Filipino. I love my country. I am committed to be proactive and responsive to all national and global needs. What is forgiveness? To each person, forgiveness means something different. Yet in general, it entails making a conscious choice to let go of bitterness and rage. You might never get over the person or thing that hurt or insulted you, but you can loosen your grip on that act by practicing forgiveness. Love is the foundation of forgiveness. It is because of love that we forgive those who have wronged or hurt us. Forgiveness also requires courage because it takes one person to be humble. It is a two-way process because it requires the person asking for forgiveness a huge amount of humility. In the same manner, it requires courage it to be willing to forgive. Forgiveness is a grace and a blessing from God because it's forgiveness that saves humanity. With Jesus dying on the cross to save all of us, He has forgiven all of our sins because of His immense love for us. And it is becoming like Christ that will truly make us children of God. SIGLACAS is one of the most awaited events in the school year. SIGLACAS is basically an accumulation of different student activities wherein nerdishans also get to showcase their talents and skills through a variety of competitions and events. We will finally gather once again as a Rhodesian community to experience on-campus activities such as the intramurals, pasiklaban, family day, and batch day give us both the opportunity to of course showcase our talents and skills and to have fun and make good memories with our brothers and sisters in LSM. Siglacas is something that is unique for the LSM community because it's the top Nordishan. Siglacas for me is an opportunity for our dear classmates and teachers to unite and have fun together in a celebration. The Pasik Laban. The club hopping. Griffin Skate. Step up dance competition. Griffin Scope. I remember when I was part of the anime club, I conducted an online workshop to teach the students on how to make their own anime character. And it was really fun for me to go to each club room and to experience what each club is all about, the different hobbies and interests of the auditions. I remember my classmates in grade five literally screaming and being chaotic and still working together as a team. And that feeling was really funny and memorable for me because I like that they kept up screaming, but they still work together as a team, which is very good. I really love how Sigla Class has its fair interaction with your family. And uh, kahit na online, they still made sure to share our enjoyment with them. It was a heartwarming experience to have fun and talk with my brothers. In that moment, I felt that we were close to each other.
with this year's Siglamas, I'm really looking forward to the return of the face-to-face clubs, sports, and activities. Because nothing really beats the hype and atmosphere in face-to-face. I'm looking forward to a more interactive Siglacas since we will be celebrating it on site. I'm excited to play and compete with my brothers in the different sports activities. I'm sure this year's Siglacas is much more fun, meaningful, and memorable. I assure you, online batch day won't top off what we have planned for this year's batch day. To all grade 9 students, Mandana kayo. I wish to create a greater bond with my classmates, my batchmates, my clubmates, and even my teachers to the friendly competitions and different programs and activities during the whole week. And lastly, I'm looking forward to making new memories that will be etched in my heart forever. I am looking forward for it to be a much more memorable experience than online because you can experience part of the fun and learn new things on site. With pride and honor, let us sing the Lord's hymn. Let us blend our tongues in praises. Let the ears resound our voices. Let enduring be our fealty to the school we love so well. Though the years our paths may sever, sons of lords will ever be. And with joy thy praises seem so proudly cheering Alma Mater, hail to thee. Comrades dear, let the song echo clear, loud and long. Let us blend our tongues in praises, let the years resound our voices. Let enduring be our fealty to the school we love so well. Though the years our paths may sever, sons of lords will ever be. And with joy the grace it seems so proudly cheering Alma Mater, hail to thee. 